And after that, Shamlal Ahmed Ji is going to come from Malabar, who's going to talk about his story. So this is the process which we are going ahead. So uh, over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's have a keynote address on how to establish your business in UAE by Ms. Sri Devi Aruhachalam, founder and president of Indo-UAE Economic Chamber of Commerce. Namaskar. Vanakkam. Habibi, Dubai. Now, two things are difficult. You know what? One is, especially in the forum like this, one is before the lunch. The other one is after the lunch. The speaker have to put a lot of efforts. Okay, <laughs> so to get your attention, I just want you to say, Habibi Dubai. <laughs> Thank you. The best thing is, uh, since morning I'm here, and it's a disciplined and a well-organized event, uh, definitely you have to applaud for yourself for doing this such a great attitude, you know. Uh, of course, like we are all here to learn something today and uh, the morning session, the first session, uh, Hitesh sir have given immense information end to end. After listening to that, I was just wondering, what am I going to talk here? <laughs> you know, because he has spoken everything. And you know what? I have noticed everyone, everyone were taking the notes also then how will I be able to manage my show here? <laughs> anyway, so uh, how many people have come for the first time to Dubai? Wow, that's a lot of number. <laughs> All right, and uh, one more thing, sir. I really have to thank uh, the young generation I know like it is next gen, that is what is going to talk today and all that like has been already explained to me. But uh, the one, I wondered by seeing the third generation coming and then talking about the trade and confidently they said in span of next six years, they are also going to come in the trade. What a fabulous thing here. Yeah. You really have to appreciate it. I have never seen such kind of confidence with in any of the forums so far. Seriously, hats off to you all. Coming to the point, why Dubai? Why do you have to start the business in Dubai? Income, income is double, okay. Gateway to the world, okay. Okay, that is what I'm going to talk about actually, thank you. <laughs> so four yes, we will keep four yes in our mind. One is financial safe, the other one is innovation safe, the other one is future safe, and network safe. Four S. Keep it in your mind. You can definitely take this as your notes also because it will help you for sure. Because anywhere, what you feel when you go for any country, any place, first thing what you see, it is about the safety and security. Yes? So, here, financial safe, innovation safe, future safe, and network safe. So, Middle East is a country, Dubai especially, being deadlift to all the major brands, always support in such a way, not only to launch, sustain, progress, but life stories into legacy. So we have seen one of the story in the morning and we have many, many more stories also. And legacy to history. What do you feel? Yes, that's a fact. Of course, it's about, Dubai is all about uh, the people whom you meet and how do you engage with your customers. That was uh, spoken in the panel today. And uh, we feel, I feel especially, 
it's a literacy rate is really high and you will be definitely seeing people humble and educated audience which adapts the change which changes their lifestyle and which changes their lifestyle into more harmony and peace loving the government alliances are very supportive ideology and collective ideas initiatives are definitely have been day to day like they are bringing more and more new things and women centric business ideas are uh, welcomed over here and that is one main reason the moment i entered the hall i just saw one thing i don't know how many of you have noted end of the day this product who is going to have it and have you noticed that we don't have much of women here so exactly that is what even i thought of it you know <laughs> mainly like when we when we have to attract someone that means like we have to prepare so much so here to attract the women centric portion definitely like you have to know more about it and you have to know the likings so that is what even i thought about it thank you so and the department department dubai departmental process are easy and hassle free and sorted procedures in every section and department of any business to be established so you have two options which has been already explained in the morning if anyone have missed i will again explain it one is the mainland option the other one is free zone and uh, for to start a gold bullion trading company a uh, very few documents are mandatory and which is are your basic documents so first thing like you have to uh, fix your trade name the trade name to be selected with three options apply uh, for the trade name approval in ded after getting the initial approval you have to go with the trade registration certificate then need to submit the ijari copy to the license approval further by need to apply for the sira approval and after the sira approval the license will be issued to get the at least approximately like you have to invest about 25 to 30000 aed the documents are simple passport copy if you have your emirates id or the visa copy and the photograph the partner cv if suppose like you are going to be the 100% partner i mean 100% ownership then you have to provide your own documents and if you are going with a partnership then two people or three people whoever that you are planning like you have to provide everybody's document and the company profile is mandatory before you come to this country you have to prepare your brand name as well the profile that is very important these are the basic things uh, so since morning like technical stuffs are too much so i i really do not wanted you to confuse more because he has given a perfect perfect informations so i just wanted to go with a simplified content now i think like uh, for this forum like i am a new face so let me introduce myself and i am shri devi arnachalam i am the founding president and chairman uh, i am the founding chairman and president of indo uae economic chamber of commerce so what exactly that we do in this chamber it is all about in a simple note it is a bilateral trading between india and uae any business any establishments that you are looking at you have the procedures so in india if you start one business and then if you do 100 activities never mind no one is going to question you but here the system is totally different where for each business not only for the gold or trading that i'm talking about in general whichever the business that you do you have certain activities process over here which we need to be literally keen about it so we first have to understand what business that we are starting and how are we going to proceed it so as i mentioned either mainland or free zone so now your business comes under which category these are the things that you have to see after this like once the documentations are all done in fact like you also have the license let's imagine that you have the license the problem where it starts maybe like in import export you you might have some problems or in some kind of legal points or issues because in our country itself like 
maybe like you have been doing the business for 15, 20 years and you may have some kind of issues. Now it is a new country and new procedures. In that case, like you will be having certain difficulties are possible. In that case, our chamber will be definitely be helpful to you for the policies, for the advocacies. So let me just uh, give a small note and then I will end up my session. New business opportunities are surfacing in the UAE as well as trade channels are opening up for growth and prosperity. As a team, we help to establish a two-way channel between UAE business tycoons and Indian investors interested in expanding and exploring in the UAE. Through our network of business leaders, we explore alternate business channels, identify ex resources of our imports and exports, and promote business opportunities that are f beneficial for both parties and countries. In addition to identifying resources for import and export, our network of tycoons provides valuable insights into business channels. We invite you to explore a rapidly developing continent in re recent times, which has attracted global investors due to its alluring infrastructure, technology, and ease of doing business. The UAE has positioned itself to attract big businesses to establish their business infrastructure on their lands with high security standards and world-class amenities. I thank GJC, Mr. Siam Mehra, Chairman of GJC, Mr. Rajesh Rokde, Vice Chairman, Mr. Nilesh Shubhavat, Convener, and all the prestigious members who are here, respective dignitaries. Thank you so much for giving this wonderful opportunity. Thank you very much. Vanakkam, Namaskar. Thank you, Sri Devi, ma'am, for sharing your valuable insights and exper expertise with us. I would like to call upon on stage Mr. Sayamji Mehra, Mr. Rajesh Ji Rokre, Mr. Nilesh Ji Shubhavat, Mr. Suresh Ji Agarwal, Mr. Nitin Ji Khandelwal, and Mr. Gaurav Ji Isa to felicitate Ms. Sri Devi Arunachalam, founder and president of Indo-UAE Economic Chamber of Commerce.